Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to the first episode of a new Rogue Take season. I'm very excited because the early game is usually a lot of fun. There's a lot of mayhem going on. And uh, yes, we are here on the start screen because we are about to start a new campaign. And I want to give you my, my whole settings. Some of you were asking for it. So go back to this first episode to see where we are. I kind of wanted to go for Clan Hell's Horses as a start, but that thing is not available anymore. And by looking through the starting faction, starting items a little bit, you can see that on the Rogue Tech Wiki, you can just Google that. Um, all of these units are, I would say, kind of on par with one another. So for some factions, you get like certain mechs that are within that faction, but most of them are kind of okay in, or I, Again, on par in terms of power level. Therefore, uh, it doesn't really matter which one we take. Uh, and I was looking around a little bit and I want to start with the Illyrians because we're going to get two light mechs and two medium mechs as our starting units. Uh, and then uh, one of each is from Marek and one of each is from Steiner. And I am very excited for, you know, a little bit of a Steiner punch maybe. We're going to set lethality to maximum because I do want to care about my pilots and everything is going to be at normal. We have five max parts to assemble. I think that was great. That was good. It gives us a bit of a challenge. I like that. Uh, and everything is going to be just normal. And there we go. We're going to start the game and we're going to see each other when we build the commander because there's a little bit of loading time included. All right, here we are. We got to choose a commander now. And I would say since the last time we used a male character, we're going to switch it up to a female character again. Uh, quick check. Are there any new portraits? I don't know, but I like her. I think I'm gonna take this person. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, a bunch of these others we have already used. That's the thing. Oh man, I've been playing this game since what, 2018 now in like multiple instances? It's so crazy. No, I think it's gonna be her. Okay, her call sign is absolutely Terra Bird. I love it. Uh, her name is Mero Mero Mallory? Mallory? Mallory Lopez. It's fine. Voice? I'm listening. Aye, aye. Um, I don't know. Which one do we take? That's Tex. Svelte doesn't work. Plate glass armor doesn't work. Pagan Hall doesn't work. Yeah, we are not taking Oddball. All right. Let, let's actually go with... Yes, Commander. I think I like... Cre oh, Overlord. Yeah, let's go Overlord. I think this is the glitch voice, right? So let's go with her. Now, in terms of starting skills and equipment, I think... Uh, we want to max gunnery and or tactics early on so that we don't that we actually have a hit chance and i mean the magistracy of canopus gets us plus one to each we could also do a thing like this here we could go to clan trueborn which gives us a plus one to all skills which is really nice but we are not able to command vehicles anymore which is not that big of a deal because we run max mostly anyway so mm, i think it, it might be good, but I also want to kind of get the feel of some progress. Therefore, plus one on tactics and gunnery is fine, and we're going to be able to run vehicles and uh, mechs. Now, our uh, youth background. Honest and Spacer, lame. Gambling? Lucky is good. Lucky gives you um, jam chance reduction as well as a clustering bonus. Jinx just gives everybody on the field a 1% chance to fail a thing. Uh, technology, lost tech experience and technician is really good in the early game when you don't have that many tech points. Getting extras from your pilots is super handy, so you get your max fixed up better. Bookish, lost tech experience or reckless and brave. Mm. I do like tech. All right. So we have quick cell clan beginnings. We are getting with that. And it's uh, not an assassin, but the quirks assassin and criminal as well as... A command mech and assorted quick sell clan gear. I, I don't trust your quick sell. Jinx and merchant as well as quick sell mech. Commando veteran. Ex military and lucky and a waka. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. That's exactly what I'm looking for. This is pretty good. That's a pretty good starting combination. Freelancer, drunk and re reckless is fine. Reckless gives you one less max here evasion of yours but one evasion ignore when you shoot the enemy and i think drunk also has something to do with evasion i think it upgrades your max evasion again something like that 
uh, and reduces your punch out chance or so. I don't really want a hunchback right now. I think the, the Wacker is better. Gladiator is fine, I guess. I don't really care about that. Protomac test subject is amazing. Gives you neural implants from the get go. They won't matter that much in the early game, other than that you are able to run Protomax and you get a Protomax unit. I mean, Protomax have been changed a little bit. Mm? Shall we? Shall we do this? Uh, Flight School Instructor gives you a VTOL. Nice. Uh, or Land Air Mag. Hmm. All right. Disgraced and Brave. Okay, fine. There are so many good things here. Uh, an advanced unit as a mercenary. We have Inheritor, which gives you also Lucky. And Noble, which reduces your upkeep, I think. Um, and a Rare Mag. I do like the Lucky quirk. I really do like it. <laughs> a very legitimate <laughs> merchant. Uh-huh. There's always money in the banana stand. Dishonest merchant and 3 million sea bills or the local equivalent. Sure. Um, Corsair gives you a pirate mech, assassin and criminal. Don't really care about that. Team Banzai test unit. Gladiator. Pain shunt. Which reduces the self-injury chance. Or actually, I think it completely negates it. And neural implants as well as a hatchet man. That's not bad either. Oh. What do we do? Command vehicle is good, but nah, I don't really care. Brave and dependable in battle armor. Mm, I also don't really like that. And then we got lost tech weaponry. So I think my my three favorites are Team Banzai, Test Pilot, Hatchet Man is cool, especially early on. I mean, with that I would probably go the Clan Trueborn though, because I want extra piloting as well as all of the other things. Um, do we go melee? Do we? The other thing is actually um, Inheritor. Uh, getting a rare mech is nice and being lucky is really good. And then the other one was Commando Veteran with ex-military and lucky. I do also like the recoil reduction that we get from the ex-military background. And lucky with the jam chance. I think we can... This is a very good like auto cannon f uh, like focus build that we have here. Yeah, I do like it. All right, we're going to go with the Wacker. These are our starting skills. Uh, it's going to be fine. And here we go, guys. Now the fun begins. We'll, of course, take a look at the Mech Bay first. Actually, before we do, uh, let me go back. Nobody saw anything. We're going to advance the timeline a single day. Here we go. And then we're going to reunite with our old friend, the Heirloom a Bushwacker. We get a P1. Mm. Not too excited about it. P1 is fine. It's it's an ER large laser with an autocannon 10 attached to it. But it's fine. No, wait. It's the autocannon 5. Wait, ho hold up. Hold up. I mean, we got the XL engine. We got it. Actually, let's take a look here. Yeah, it's one of the less interesting ones for me, honestly. We got three LRM5s. That's all right. We have pretty good ammo. I like it. A large laser in the core. I like in the center torso. And then auto cannon 5 federated. Which gives us a plus 100% chance to crit. As well as a 50% modifier to your through armor critical chance. And a 6% jam chance. I mean, we're lucky. That's good. It's fine. It's an okay mech. We have like the three missile hard points. I think we can get something done. I'm happy that we got the like XL engine double heatsink set up. That's super good. It's a very good early game mech. Now, on top of that, we have a Firestarter H. What do we see here? We have a bunch of flamers, medium lasers, machine guns. Nothing too crazy, but it's a Firestarter and it's a, also a very good early game light mech. We have a Talon. Let me see what the Talon is all about. A single PPC. Ooh, XL doubles. Pretty good. And two medium lasers. I like you already. Hermes. Hermes, what you got? Hermes got single heat sinks as well as a standard engine, runs an autocannon and a medium laser and the flamer. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing to be proud about. But what I'm really happy about is honestly the Kintaro. Kintaro is a very good early game mag. Comes with a NARC and a bunch of SRMs as well as these medium laser intake. Cooling is gonna be an issue, a major issue. But with a little bit of shifting around, I feel like we can get something done here. Honestly, I believe we're gonna instantly scrap the Talon, right? 
get the heat sinks and the engine out of it, put it in the Kentaro, and have a, have a good day. And then use Hermes, fire starter, the Waka. We have no vehicles, no battle armor, no super heavies. I think that might be a good idea. It'll take a bit of money, but we would be set up for success very early on. So, um, the other thing that we quickly want to check is the barracks, obviously, because we want to see who is here. I like what I see already. So, Terra Bird. I'm gonna give you gunnery and uh, tactics early on. We need to get out of that no sensor penalty. We also got Belfagor. Belfagor is ex-military bookish tech jinxed. I like the tech aspect of him. Chronic Toast. Uh, dependable and reckless. You're alright. A bunch of these can only run max. You are allowed to run battle armor as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dragon 66. Check it out, man. Ex-military merchant. Like it. Gladiator dependable. He might be somebody that we want to run. Alright. Um, Harold. Ex-military mech warrior technician. So many technicians. That's pretty good. Lefay. Ex-military honest. Alright. Tank girl. Tank girl is, is an actual uh, lucky pick here. She's really, really good. She has some things that really don't matter. For example, dependable. I mean, the panic resist is good, but the stability reduction doesn't matter on vehicles. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. I'll give her some, some traits, but we don't have a tank for her to run yet. So that's the thing that we need to figure out. Uh, we also got Yuki Ona, and she's also pretty good, if I remember correctly. Uh, Ex-military, mech warrior, brave, assassin, spacer, technician. She is really good. All right. That being said, I think I... Wait, no, not quite. No, I got the people ready. Alright. One more thing. Hiring hall. Is there anybody that we want to pick up right now? We got command. Commander is not bad early on. A commander. Hmm. Initiative, one resolve per round, plus one tactics. Uh, and that in a five hex radius. Having an officer on the board is good. Like I like a commander. That's that's really nice. Flatline gives us... He's fine. I think I want you. I'm gonna hire here. Alright. So. Um, one more thing. Uh, I didn't want to go to the command center, actually. Uh, I wanted to go to see if you can be upgraded. Let's give you some tactics and gunnery. Uh, you're gonna be a part of my alpha squad. Okay. So, that being said, again, I do believe it is a good idea to drop the Talon directly, so we're gonna... We're gonna put it to storage and upgrade the Kentaro a little bit. I think this is gonna be one of my absolute main mechs. So, what we want is, obviously, the double heat sink kit, so we have no heat problems whatsoever on this guy. And we want the XL engine, so we can armor up completely. Yes. It's kind of fantastic that we can still... Holy crap, that's crazy. That we can still put stuff into the mech. Uh, the engine core could be slightly bigger. It doesn't matter though. It does not matter at all. Um, engine heat sinks, plus one. But what for? Did we get any better weapons? There's a PPC. Hmm. We have utilized all of our hard points. That's good to see, good to know. Put all of the ammo in the legs. Do we want to run the PPC? What's the deal of this guy? Oh, it's relatively heat neutral. Not heat neutral, but has low heat. Only 4 heat on this laser, but also only 20 damage. Still, pretty good. It's getting a bit too hot and too much. But if we do it like this... We have that one PPC for the early game, and then we can shoot all of these SRMs when we're getting into close range combat. I think I like it a lot. We need to drop half a ton though. Ooh. Alright. Drop a bit of back armor, but not too much because we're in the early game. Enemies might surround us. I think this is it. So, 16 days and a million C builds, but that's okay because... Because we will be moving around anyways. Uh, our starting planet is not great. Hermes, do you want to do any refits? I think yes. We want to drop the flamer and give you another medium laser. 
You're really good in terms of cooling. Negative nine. You're fine, I guess. I cannot drop the heatsink because we have a negative one here. I, I guess that's it. This guy is like really low on options. But it's okay. So, good old auto cannon five. The fire starter, I feel like we want to rebuild a little bit because it definitely doesn't need that many jump jets. And I don't know if we're going to go in with flamers or medium lasers. The big problem of the of the fire starter is its heat management. It's not good at all. Uh, it's really hard. We can maybe use it as a as a makeshift melee mech, but that's all. I want to give it more armor and I also want to give it more heat management. Ugh. All right, we'll drop the lasers. It's gonna be too much anyways. So this is our, again, makeshift melee mech. Max armor. Yes. All right. Uh, actually, put the flamers on the arms because we have that arm accuracy. And this is it. Do we even run the machine guns or is this just all flamers? It might be all flamers, actually. So if we wanna go hot, we better go hot, huh? All right, let's do it like this. I think armor-wise we are fine. We are missing a bit on the arms, but that's okay. I would rather give it another heat sink right now. Uh, we don't have another heat sink right now. Eh. In that case, in that case, we're gonna armor up, max the armor, and say it's fine. There we go. We got some jump jets for mobility. We just have flamers. But that's okay. 10 days, 23,000. All right. First uh, look at the Waka here. Um, this guy also needs a bit of love because it's not armored up completely. We got precision and armor piercing ammunition. It deals 11 damage to structure. 11 is not good enough to break an enemy in one go. So I think we can get rid of this for the moment because we don't need more than 13 shots. So one ton is enough. And this is a, this is on a, obscene amount of ammunition so i do like the sam for potential flying unit kills we technically only need one ton though regular ammo it is is it just one ton of regular i wonder i really do wonder we are overcooling the mech horribly so we could also yeah, drop those heat sinks. We don't need them. Why would we use them? All right. All right, all right, all right. So we have the engine heat sink. That's fine. The large laser is good. We need armor. So max the armor out. And we're going to start from here again. I mean, what we need is bigger missile launchers. Or more energy hard points. Or another auto cannon five. So we have two of them. And that ammo is actually, actually mattered. I know a mech that has a... An auto cannon, five. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get something done with that, making this like a mid-range uh, fire support completely. I like the idea of it. But right now, I guess we're gonna keep the ammunition. Drop the leg armor. I think a hundred is fine, especially in the early game. There's not a lot of damage flying around, so we could probably get away with this. And just to have the option, I'm gonna keep the armor piercing ammunition. It's fine. All right, so 10 days on all of these. The thing is, we only have one mech bay currently, and that means they are worked on in a sequential way. So we go to engineering, and the first thing that we want to do is getting the second mech bay. We need the repaired power conduits, which is this one here. Gives us a tech point as well. All right, then. Here we go. It's a lot of time. Like, a lot of time. Okay, so... um. Into space we go, guys. Into space we go. We are here in the Illyrian Palatinate, but I think we're gonna dive directly into Marek space. And what I wanna do is, I wanna play for Marek, and I think we can go one skull easily. Uh, it's a Terran world, high gravity planet, 26 days. It's fine. Let's go there. 
This is where we start. And I really want to grind some reputation for Marek, so I don't necessarily want to play just the missions at hand, but the missions that are for a faction that, you know, helps us out a bit. Alright, so second mech bay, please come online in, yeah, 10 days. Alright then. Let's see. Using up all of my money early on, but that's how I roll. That's how it's gonna go, guys. You know me, right? I like to invest. But I'm really excited about the battlefield performance of the uh, the Wacker Kintaro combo. I think the Firestarter and our Hermes friend are at, at just like little sprinkle on top of our power level. Um, Belphegor, what's your quirks? Your Jinx. We could get rid of Jinx if I give him a VIP party. Yeah. Okay. He lost Jinxed. I'm fine with that. It's a 1% chance for a critical chance for a critical or a crit received or a jam chance for everybody. It's just like when he is around, there's a very slight chance that something bad might happen to you or the enemy. To anybody. Uh, and it's it's fine if we lose it. And he's also in high spirits. So when using the VIP thing, you get rid of a quote unquote negative quirk. Otherwise, the other option would be just losing a bit of or gaining a bit of morale. Alrighty, so since our first mech bay works at 100% capacity and the second only at 50, we're gonna put the Waka to the front and both will be ready in 9 days. Automation is also impo important, so we're gonna get that going. Ah, oh, and then we need the training modules relatively quickly. Oh boy. Financial report in 6 days! Okay, dokie. Should I have taken a look at the store earlier? Maybe. But I didn't really care. I was... I was using my money for rebuilds anyways. Alright, we have more people. Sin. Not bad. Not bad. Gunrunner. I want to know what he is. MRB rating is too low. I know, but still. Oh, by the way, this guy is able to run... Fly, is, is able to fly VTOLs and lambs. This is important. There's a distinction between max vehicles and then also these two subcategories now. Uh, if you don't have them... No chance. You cannot put him in any flying unit. So this guy is probably pretty good. But my MRB rating is too low. So guys, we need to wait another three days, which is exactly our financial report. I'll take a look at the store. And then we're gonna go in. Got some battle armor shenanigans. Satchel charge. How much damage does it do? 25. Directly dealt to internals as well. Ooh, always rolls for a crit. Ooh, 200% critical chance with it. Oh, what? That's nasty. I mean, you gotta be point blank in order to use that thing. But holy crap. That seems good. Being able to just blow up ammo with this is amazing. All right, handheld Gauss rifle. Also pretty good. I want to check this real quick. 75 damage, handheld. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, we have an academy, a VTOL Academy appointment. For 500,000, you can learn this stuff. Good to know. Will not be available for 6 to 12 months. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh huh. Pretty good. Battle Armor LRM, 10 shots. Yeah, man, I cannot wait to also play around with Battle Armor a little bit more. Should I? I shouldn't have started with Battle Armor. No, it's fine. Okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna wait for our people to come online. We have exactly 55,000 Seabills. I like it. <laughs> we are exactly in the spots where we need to be. Now we are under pressure to actually play missions. So let's exactly do that. Alright, we're gonna play One Skull. Battle in the Badlands. Sounds good. There's a duel as well. Oh, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, Battle in the Badlands is... Ugh. It's not for Marek, huh? Let's play Assassination in the Lowlands against the Pirates then. I, I, I stand by that. I want to actually grind reputation. So, here we go. Waka, Kintaro, Hermes, Firestarter. On the Waka, we need somebody with recoil reduction. No, wait, AC5s don't have recoil, correct? Where's my auto cannon? Yeah, they don't have recoil, but they have a jam chance, so I believe it's actually good if we take Terra Bird, 
because she's lucky and she has a 10% gem chance reduction on the Kentaro. It might be our commander. Yuki Ona is ex-military, Mac Warrior, Brave, Assassin, Spacer, Technician. She doesn't really have any quirks that helps the Kentaro, per se. Tank Girl is only tanky. What about Lefay? Cautious. One evasion generated. Hmm. It's pretty good for the fire starter. I like it. I put you here. Your, your two gunnery doesn't matter that much anyways. Uh, we got Mr. Dragon 66. Mm. Chronic Toast. He's reckless. Yeah, we're gonna... Actually, you're gonna... we're gonna put you on the Hermes. Yeah, and then we're gonna take you here. I'll put you on the Hermes here because the Hermes is a mid to backliner anyways. So our max evasion shouldn't matter that much. But the evasion ignore for our auto cannon, we want to utilize that. All right, guys, I am ready to go. We have one skull against one skull. Looking good. Our first mission, here we go. We have one unit here, one unit here. I don't know if they already have supports or not, but I think it's best to start here in the proximity of this forest that we can then utilize as cover. The enemies are in the wide open, also in the water. That means their mobility is going to be hampered by the rough terrain nature of all of it. Yeah, it's going to be all right. We have a phoenix. We have a Sarissa. No idea what that is. A Buster Hauler? A little bit damaged. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, Hermes. We can actually sprint quite a lot. You know what? I think I'm gonna move and brace. I think that's gonna be better. Just do that. I hear ya. It also feels like the game is loading a bit quicker <laughs> than normal. Uh, yeah, let's just move and brace. A bit of defense early on might be good. Commander. All right, we got the Flamers. On the starter, jump and brace is better than move and brace, obviously. What's the Phoenix deal? Thunderbolt 10 and 2 SRM2. This is a large laser and a bunch of mediums. Okay. You are running bolt on rockets, a large laser Tronel. It's a bad one. Um, medium laser Agra and a quick cell LRM20. Okay. Yes, Commander. All right, here comes my Kintaro. I like my sprint capabilities. But it's again a move and brace. I think we want to take the Phoenix out first on the right flank. Buster Hauler coming in. Sarissa. All right. There is our prime target, which is running a Wasp. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Forty-two percent. I like this. Let's go for it. Yeah. Let's just move around a bit. I'm not sprinting because I want to have my own. Um, my own uh, accuracy up a bit. Standard shot. Here we go. That was a one-shot kill. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'll take it. Uh, where's my loot? Please? There is nothing left of that mag. Oh, no. So, we gotta think about our salvage a bit as well. Hold up. If I get here, I have way better hit chance. I'll take this. We get out of out of our cover. Let's go. Man, a single auto cannon five and two medium lasers dealing that much relative damage to the units. It's just oh, I miss the early game. And at the same time, I I I, I don't because it's the same deal for me. Yeah, man, you want to run in now. You want to also shoot your missiles. All right, the knock first. We have a, a beacon that helps us with accuracy if we hit. Let's see if it changes. Okay, the the beacon didn't hit anyway, so obviously our hit chance wouldn't change. Knock is really cool, actually. It gives you, a, I think, a plus one accuracy and then another plus two for missiles, which is a total of plus three. It's really nice. All right, we're gonna get the fire starter somewhere on the front line. I don't think that he's gonna get anything done, but a man can dream. I got you. Let's go, Hermes. Finish up. Yeah, open side torso. Kind of hope that the wasp is coming in. Waiting for orders. 
Ah, these Zeus LRMs also have a jam chance. In that case, I'm pretty happy that we're gonna put Terra Bird on this one, because, again, she has a jam chance reduction. Side to also down. Not a kill. When I shoot you, you'll take it and... Awaiting orders. Yes, Commander. Take it and... and what? But the rest of the sentence is, and like it. All right, Flamers for the win. Is that enough? Make him panic? How might I, help? I actually have to shoot you with full force once more. Down, well then, I... God. Do I not shoot everything? I think I'm not gonna shoot the PPC, honestly. I'm here for salvage. He's going down. Narc missed again. But yeah, down goes to whatever its name was. Uh, by the way, I have combat lock activated uh, instead of the floaties. Um, because a lot of people said that I should, so here I am actually listening to you. Can we have both, please? Can I have the floaties and the combat lock? I, I would love to. Okay, nothing to do with the fire starter. So we have a problem. If we are not in range of our flamers, we are not doing anything with that little guy. Huh. What can I do for you? I think rough terrain is fine. We don't really care about that. All right, fire. Uh -huh. Very good clustering on the leg. I love it. Yeah, critical hit. Good. Uh, yep. What are your orders, Skipper? All right, gotta move. Oh, we're gonna try to attack him again from the same side to maybe get the knockdown. That would be fan freaking tastic. The good news is he is very low on initiative. He's only at nine. Oh, but it's the turn now. <laughs> Those quick sell LRMs are really good if you want to deploy mines on the whole battlefield, by the way. They are so splashy, so clustery. It's just not even funny. PPC, let's go. Narc missed again. We almost have him. It's a weird initiative that we got. Oh, hold up. What the hell was that? What's the wasp with the ballistic? Do you have a boomstick, little guy? Crazy. Yeah, let's go in with the Kintaro. Try to blast him. And... Down to two. Um, I think I want to reserve. Because I want to bring the fire starter in and shoot the last bit of damage with the flamers. Good to go. Can we? Standing by. Can we do that? I mean, we need a little bit of damage to the leg. Tiniest amount. We got the arm though. Nah, it's not enough. I mean, I need to play with my food a little bit because I'm here for some value as well. Yeah, we took some damage. Bunch of twos. It's okay. So, in that case... Oh, in that case he did a torso twist. So, attacking him from the front is in order once more. Let's go. Don't blow up. Okay. Bang, you're dead. Okay, we got him. Man, I'm kind of used to my to my floaties. I need to I need to readjust to this. I know. Okay, mister. What the hell did you shoot at me? I wanna shoot you back now. Let's go. Come close. Yes. Ooh, this really hurts. See? She's saying the same thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Was that an it was an injury. Okay. I copy. We're gonna close the distance. Confirmed. Looking for any side attacks, but I don't get them. Let's try to get line of sight. That's a hit. Your fire. Oh no! Here. He might now run away! And catching a wasp is not going to be easy. <laughs> um, I might have messed up. We have no sensors, huh? Wait, what's my, what's my hit chance? Why is it so bad? Because of refire? These have recoil? 
What? I need a military guy in here. Firing. Oh, we, we might need to readjust. So the good news is the ballistic is out of commission. It's gone. That hit something good. Right. All right. Can we do it? Uh, let me go vigilant. So we have a bit higher in the next round. We don't need it. All right. That was the first mission. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Let's do it. Oh, I love it. <sighs> when the missions are fast-paced like that, it just feels good. Getting getting more more stuff in the early game is, is so important as well. Uh, by the way, there was an announcement that the mid-game, when you know trying to get heavy mechs, um, is going to be a little bit stretched out because of difficulty changes there. So we got to be aware of that. Um, but yeah, we got 239,000 C bills. We got a bit of damage, and oh, this is new. All right, interesting. Industrial TSM is fantastic. Being able to have a high carry capacity is really good. Also, this is worth a lot. Oh, well, we can take the Buster Hauler. It's a fifty toner. It's an instant upgrade. It comes with heavy industrial armor. A lot of primitive stuff, though. One ballistic, two energy, one missile. There's the bolt-on rockets, which are still intact. The quick cell LRM. It's not bad to pick. It's actually quite good. I want it. All right. Let's take it, then. Uh, the Phoenix is not really that interesting. I mean, we could... Oh, by the way, what, what are your quirks again? Brawler. Plus one short and medium range accuracy. Plus four minimum... Plus four minimum range accuracy. That's massive. Hardened plates. Negative three damage... Three percent damage taken. And through armor crit immune. Oh, they changed it from negative five, I believe. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. It's not a bad mech at all. SLDF sensors. Um... They only get a plus one to sensor detection. Maybe? Alright. Eight singles might be good. Oh, night vision! Night vision is so good. Piloting in tactics as well. I'm also not against the Thunderbolt 10, honestly. Could be something that our bushwalker might rock very hard. We also got ammo here. Hmm. Difficult. I do believe we want the fire control system for night vision. Then we're going to take the thunderbolt as well. And we have a little bit of extra randoms. We might get a ton of ammo or two. Should I drop something here? Maybe the sensors. They are not that important. The sensor detection bonus is the important thing. And I think a regular cockpit already has that. I might be wrong. I, I don't know. Actually, can we check here? You're running a, a primitive sensor. Uh, it doesn't show. It doesn't show. But yeah, having six shots is good. Getting another bin would be better. So we can upgrade the Waka a little bit. I like it. Do I like it enough? It's fine. We do it. All right. So we get the Buster Hauler. We got the Phoenix, part of the Sarissa, part of a Wasp medium laser rocket pack. Um, the standard fire control system, the double heatsink, and the industrial TSM. So our last random loot wasn't that great, but we technically got a full 50 ton mech from the battlefield that we just need to put together. And I mean upgrade. It's a quick sell mech. Holy crap. I don't know if we can even upgrade that. Let's check it out. There might be some fixed items that we cannot override. But worst case scenario is we're just going to take the stuff that we want and we're going to drop it completely. Being able to have like a like a specialist slot filled up early on and even if it's just a rocket launcher, it's really good. It's a lot of like burst that we can add to our initial alpha strike. And you see, the missions are so quick that taking out a mech um, is easy. And it's getting even easier. <laughs> Six days and 70,000 seabills. 
<laughs> oh my god. That's so good. So little. So little, man. Okay, my friend. What the hell are you? You look funny. You have that, that big scaffolding. <laughs> okay. We'll check you out. What's left of you? Um... Not a lot, to be honest. Also, what's wrong with your armor? Why don't you have any armor? Running an icy engine with double the engine weight. Mm, I wonder if we could override it. Ah. Cannot install the core. Yeah, this is all, like, fixed, right? Is it? This engine core is not replaceable. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's a scrap candidate now. I cannot change it, so I think I'm not gonna run it. Even though it's a 50-tonner, it is not worth it. It gives us another 110 or 11,000 C builds. Good. That being said, um, let's keep going. Could think about replacing the the Wacker, the Wacker's weapons, a little bit. And let me check it out. So we have a bunch of these, uh, these Zeus LRMs. It's 30 damage for two taunts. What we need early on is reliability and having just more missiles that fire give us like more hit chances. And I'd rather deal half of, of this damage than none of the Thunderbolt damage, you know what I mean? Honestly, I think the Zeus's are better. Be better? Better. It's 30 damage for 2 instead of 55 for 6. So we'll have a bigger impact. What if we bring the T-Bolt in, drop the SIM ammo and the ER ammo? Oh, we had to drop everything. I mean, the, the armor piercing stuff can go as well. It doesn't fly. It does not fly. I think the, the other build is better. So, we, we took it. Now we have it. It's fine. Um, other than that, uh, we need the night vision somewhere. Also, why am I going over here? Ah, yeah, because I wanted to put the bolt on rockets on the little guy, which he cannot use. Damn it. So, rockets then on the Kintaro should be heavy enough to actually run this. There we go. Okay, rockets on the Kintaro. And I think the Waka wants the night vision. Zip. Also, quick check. Yeah, we get the plus one sensor detection. The only thing that we would have gotten was a bit of sight and sensor range, which I don't really care about early on. So, uh, what's the right call? Night vision, again, big upgrade. Um, if the enemies cannot see us, but we can see them in the early game, it's gonna be so good. All right, Lefay out of action. Let's play another one. Let's play for Marek. For the glory of democracy? I don't know, what is Marek known for? I don't know. Let's go for another assassination. One skull was fine. I think one and a half would be even better. Um. So. Talking about recoil. I need to quickly check. How much recoil do you actually generate with these? Two. Ooh. Ha. Well. All right. Do we just put any anybody with the focused or a military or ex-military background in here? Merchant Dependable Gladiator. Mm. I don't know. I mean, all of them have it, except for you. I think... Yeah, we have better clustering as well. I think we're just gonna swap you. Terra Bird on the Kentaro now feels even better. Okay. Fire starter. We need somebody who is mobile. But I don't think we have anybody anymore. I think it's fine if we just bring... Bring Yuki? I think Yuki is fine on the starter. Let's deploy. Alright guys, here we go. Let's try it again. 
Destroy the supporting units. I think I could, but that would leave me in a very awkward spot here in the low ground. There's this little ridge that we cannot easily get up to. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna deal with the support lands first. Or the supporting units is not a support lands per se. But we will start right here. And then move this way to the left flank and then deal with the high value target later. They have a support lance. Okay, everything is gonna get so dicey now. Holy crap, support lance early game. How dare you? How dare you? Alright, Cicada is fine. Swordsman is fine. Auto cannon 5, LRM 5, medium laser. Um. Yeah, I wanna set the world on fire. Let's go. Bring the fire starter in. We're gonna get something done here. Also, weather is very rainy. Here's the Koto. Whatever that is. And the Locust. Interesting. I hear vehicles. Alright, my friends. We're gonna crush you. Somehow. What are you? You're pretty fast, so I believe this is the Cicada 3... What? L? Get in there, the Waka. You can see I'm sprinting here, so I get a bit closer. I need to be in our optimal... Oh, we need to be in our optimal fighting situation as quickly as possible. Alright, here we go. Hermes. Bam! The fight is on! It might be... That we only have two units... Per lance anyways. Kodo. Oh. Pulse laser! It's an interesting get. We might want to try to uh, acquire this thing. Can we get five? Can we get five without being like on the super front line? Hermes is not well armored. That is my problem right now. Okay, we dropped the cicada. Maybe not. What's the weather condition, by the way? Hurricane! Additional 12 heat per turn. The other thing I need to look up again in a second. Uh huh. Uh, sensor range invisibility. Come on, I wanna check this. Sensor range invisibility is reduced by 70 or 270%. All units gain a plus 3 defense due to poor visibility. Land units take 30% more stability damage due to hurricane winds. Hover units have increased movement costs and VTOLs lose 2 evasion. Uh, and everything scatters more. Gotcha. I do like a kick here. Yes. Please hit. Nice. That is massive for us. We now made the Cicada unsteady and I think we can kill it now. Easy. Yeah. More vehicles coming from the right side. That's a warrior. But negative two evasion on those. Gotcha. Stray shots are gonna be a thing here as well. I should have positioned myself a bit more to the side okay. after the punch. After the kick. Actually. We'll take Terror Bird first. Yeah. Got it. Okay, here we go. I'll actually shoot the PPC. We're gonna hold up on the rockets for the moment. Put the knock all the way to the front. Can we? Oh, uh, it is not enough. I was really hoping we get the lag there. Okay, my friend. Okay, my friend. Gotta stay a little further away so our LRMs also have a hit chance. There's a sweet spot somewhere. And I think we just found it. Alright. Standard shot. Here we go. Are you kidding me? What? Oh no, I thought we would kill or at the very least rip a component away. <laughs> okay, this is getting longer than expected. Yeah, the small laser is not really doing a lot. At the very least we crit him. So that's cool. Now the swordsman actually has some damage. Again, LRM5s, AC5s. 
Oh, you hit the leg. Okay, you hit the leg of the cicada with a stray shot. I was like, who is exploding here and why? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, injury resisted. Gotcha. Ready to rock. Remy's wants to move back a little. Sprint for far. It's not good against these little boys. Don't see my Hitchens on the Swordsman. And that's because I don't have any. Alright, in that case... Hmm... Let me try to go for leg. Now let's see how this. Totally leg, right? <laughs> okay. I'm so not used to get to look here. The warrior. Actually, the locust. He's not shooting. Interesting. Honestly, I think our best bet would be another attack with the fire starter on maybe the swordsman, making him unsteady and then going all in. Watch the flank. You're fine, Hermes. You're fine. Waiting for orders. So, how much evasion do we have? Hmm. Four. I will hold for a second. I actually want to see what we can do with our makeshift melee mech. So, Yuki Ana, 32 on you, 70% chance to hit. I think I'll take it. And we want to ideally attack him from the side. We will get attacked by you afterwards. It's a lot of energy. Hey, wait, he had a large pulse and he had some mediums. I think we have to give him a turn before we do anything else. Hurts me to say, but it is what it is. Ah, all right. Gods, I hope this is working. I hope this is worth it. Here comes Dakota. You know, it's what I wanted to say. Maybe we take Dakota as our primary target. All right, Yukiana, please do me the favor of kicking this guy's nuts. 50% only. It's actually better to attack here, so let's do it. He's also very weak on the legs already, so we give him a bit more. And then we follow up with the firepower from the other mechs. I think between the Kodo and the Swordsman, both are equally dangerous. You could do that? You could do that. Interesting. Um, gotta back up, actually. Or ac actually stay here and shoot. Maybe? Giving up all of our evasion? It's not good. Hmm. Where is my spot? There it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll move for three. It makes sense. And we're gonna fire everything. Yeah, bring him down. Just bring him down. Let's go. I will actually shoot the PPC because there is no drawback and I will unload the rockets now. Thanks for giving me these rockets. That was really helpful. Cool, so we have a knockdown. There is an argument for trying to preserve this guy. He's panicked. He's down to two health. Huh? Chances are here. We have higher initiative on the Kodo with the fire starter. That's nice. What I'm only hoping is that the Locust is not giving me a machine gun shot to the face. So many little tiny bullets, tiny needle stings. Some of them might find their target. You're like a light mech, right? Yeah, you totally are. I will kick you. Nice. Okay, so now he lost evasion. Oh, leg him. Not quite. That's good. The warrior is nasty. It's gonna be over time. I will deal with him eventually. Yeah, he's now shooting his SRMs as well. <laughs> All right. 
Yes. Attack. Kick. I will shoot the PPC. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a double rocket. Uh-oh. Here comes the overkill. It's a double rocket pack. That's cool. I like it. All right, my friend, you are now mildly hot. What are we doing about this? We're gonna move around here. I think I'll still just kick him and shoot the flamers. Make him panic. Uh-huh. Right leg destroyed. And? Can I have swordsman, please? No? All right. All righty then. We said he was down to two health, right? Let's go here again. And again, attack Mr. Swordsman. Do we want to unload everything? That's my question right now. I mean, headshot, headshot chances are really low. 4.8%. I think I'd rather go for leg. We hit arm. Uh-oh. Okay, so he is dead, dead. Interesting. All right. We still have the stupid locust roaming about. That thing needs to go. Again, the tiny needle stings. There's always a chance for a headshot. Now, I don't want that in the early game. How to get the flying unit as well. I mean, this is easy. Early game is usually melee attack game. Yeah, we missed. That's fine. Seven evasion is not, not easy to, to tackle here. Not easy. I two solid hits with the mediums. It's pretty good. Nice. Let's not forget that there is a guy somewhere waiting for us. Another vehicle. Is that a Hellstorm? Ah, it's a mortar vehicle. Mortar technical. Gotcha. I want to stay with my kicks. Do you have recoil? Nah. So we can shoot it all the time. It's fine. Also a miss. PPC missed. This is why I like Splash. We had a very garbage hit chance early on. Uh, but we still dealt some Command. damage. Alright, what about you, my friend? Uh, there are no good spots to go, actually. But we will still attack. Also a miss. <laughs> Here we go, Locust. I think we missed everything. We wait, the Kentaro took eight damage? Come on. How might I help? Alright, so this is totally an SIM situation. I wanna take this flyer out of the game as well. Uh 16. Where are you? Alright, 21. I don't wanna attack the locust because stray shots are a thing and I don't wanna risk it. Good. Warrior, 40 damage. Mmm, love it. And another 10 from the missiles. Cool. We're even faster than the Locust with our fire starter. Huh. I don't know if we could go offensive push and maybe manipulate his initiative a bit. Would be great. The mortar. Yeah. Yeah, us being unsteady. Not a good thing. Okay. Maybe I just do this. Kick him. Oh, we got him. We got the leg. All right. All right. Everything else is just cleaning up now. 
He's gonna go down. He's losing initiative. Yeah. Cool. That was great. Yeah, he's down to six now. He's easy prey. He has lost all of his um, all of his movement. Uh, evasion. You are really good at hitting this flyer, so you are gonna stay on him. There we go. That means next to the mortar there is one more unit and then our assassination target. Interesting. Alright, go around here. Maybe we should have kicked him again. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. <laughs> okay, so Kentaro can do that. 90... 96% chance to hit him there. Yeah, let's go. This is gonna be good. We hit him hard. He's punching out. And then we destroy the mech. Completely. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little hot. I should have not fired the PPC. I'm aware of that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we need to reconsolidate and uh, define an, a, an attack vector. I think it's going to be the left side. Although we run through the flames, it's going to be all right. So extended range, not even worth the shot. Not even remotely. Hermes is relatively fast, actually. Hmm. Lots of misses on the mortar. Love to see it. God, it's good to have evasion again. Ah, here comes the other guy. It's a Whitworth. Ooh. All right. Whitworths are really good. Uh, please get out of the fire. Standing by. Copy that. Oh, damn. Locus was exploding in a big fiery ball of death. That's why we are so hot, right? Okay, the double heat sinks are helping, but the singles on the fire starter, not so much. Gotcha. I see, so this is the mortar. The other barrage earlier was from the Whitworth. Those were the LRMs. What are your orders, Skipper? Sure. Let's get an overview. Let's shoot him. Let's see what you got. Actually hit him. Waiting for orders. Very, very nice. Yeah, the fire starter needs to sprint. Just sprint and cool. Thank you. Awaiting orders. Direct line of sight. Oh, wait. I wanted to say it's hard to acquire here, but it's not impossible. Stray shot. Whitworth is standing right here. We only shoot the missiles. It's not worth it. All right, here comes the mortar. These direct hits, they actually hurt. That was 30 damage coming from that guy. Wow. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving fast. And in this instance, I'm very happy that we got the PPC on the Kentaro, so we can at the very least try to hit something. It's nice. It's really nice. So, Whitworth, come closer. Aren't Whitworth running XL engines? Good to go. It would be very interesting to see another XL in my storage. No I don't know if it's going to be possible, but a man go. can dream. Yeah, and we need to get the mortar out very quickly. Huh. Yes, Commander. So? Now we can shoot everything. Nobody's in our side anymore. Let's go extended range. Firing. Nice, we hit him with the auto cannon or the laser. I, I think it was the auto cannon, yeah. It's a big impact. Hermes doesn't have that much armor. Remember that. Sprint. Roger. Let's go. I will still put it to the front line because we need a hit chance. Yeah. Great. All right. We're getting there, guys. We're totally getting there. Kintaro, get in there. Shoot your PPC and hit. <laughs> or maybe not. 
I'm gonna stack some resolve right now for Vigilant later. Oh no. Oh, it's a risk, Kirby. He's jammed, so that's good. But, ow? Wait. Oh, he dumped damage into his friend. I was wondering why the Whitworth was so unsteady. Yeah, let's, let's get out of Irby's line of sight with the Whitworth. I think also Vigilant is a good idea now. Good. Good on the leg. You have orders? Roger. Let's run. And fire. As you wish. I'm still staying on the one target right now, although I just think that Irby is more dangerous. Copy that. Um... We need to take the one out first before we can concentrate our fire. I want to stay on the flank. I want to hit him in the leg again. There is no real side attack from the right side. Eh. Fine. Fine, we have evasion. And Irby is jammed currently. We can take that turn. Are you? Yeah, it's a Rock 2 risk, which is crazy dangerous in the in our current game scenario. Okay, standard LRMs. Nice, we got some hits in. The problem is he's getting steady again. Oh, it's getting dicey. Huh. But our, our Kentaro is coming into range as well. Unjammed. What can I do for you? He's unjammed. Uh -huh. Good. Confirm that. Come on, hit the beacon. Never lucky. I think the Narc has not done a single thing yet. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> I think it's not worth shooting the fire the flamers. I want to stay heat neutral with the fire starter currently because I want to maybe jump next round. Use my mobility to get in there, and the more heat you have, the more your mech is hampered. It's getting super close. Okay, we're fine. Oh, is this a char? It's a charge. We have a side attack. I'll take it. And I will shoot everything. No knock lock. Nothing. Okay, friend. I think this is good enough hiding behind the Kentaro and shooting from here. Never lucky. What's going on? Alright, guys. Here comes Irby. Yeah, and Irby is smart. Using this, like, hit and run tactics, going behind cover and then coming out again and stuff like that. Really cool. It's nice to see. So, what we want to do here is the following. We want to go for a full flamer melee attack. I know we are attacking from the wrong, quote-unquote, side. But I need to make him unsteady first, so we can deal some more damage. And we actually hit the right leg. Although we attack from the left side. Hmm. Let's hit that is good. Now... We go here. Ugh. Yeah, I guess we actually go here and just hope for the best with our LRMs. We could hot load them, but nah. That's not. <laughs> One HP! Ugh. It's taking far too long to take down the Whitworth. Hmm. All right. I'll trust you. Get the flamers in there. Um, go vigilant because Irby. And then attack. We need one damage on a leg. We didn't get it. We hit everything but leg. <laughs> Anyways, there's more. Hermes. Okay. Rotary unjammed. Whitworth, by the way, not XL, obviously. But he's punching out. That is amazing. So, Kintaro to the front line. Here's our, yeah, main target. Let's go. Narkin. 
No. Well, we PPC'd him. That's really good. Sensor scrambling and accuracy reduction is king here. Huh, huh, huh. Extended range? Gives us a bit of a hit chance bonus. Fine. The ballistic is on the right arm and we are currently attacking the left side. It's not gonna be enough. Uh, yeah. We can jump and brace this. Let's go! I think the repair cost is gonna be a little bit higher than in the last mission. I got you. Alright, attack him. The funny thing is that we also don't have any active abilities other than uh, Breaching Shot and Vigilance. Hmm. I want to get closer so I can run my SRMs more reliably. It'll be hard to fight. Alright, here we go. Sounds good. I understand. Massive return fire. The thing is, this urban mech is filled to the gills with good equipment. How the hell do we get our hands on it? I want all of this, you know? Uh, let's flame him. Five damage. Yeah. Certainly. Here goes nothing. That's not enough. Is he gonna kill me if I move out here? He might. But I want to finish him now. And we did. I mean, the ballistic is down. That's good. How do we go from here? Herbie's running to the evac zone. I don't think he's gonna ever get there. There is like a... Hmm. Like a hunch, call it a hunch. <laughs> that he's never gonna get there. Um, give me a second. I need to I need to check something real quick. Weird. I thought somebody knocked on my door. <laughs> but nobody's at home. That's the weird thing about it. Alright, so Irby is still running. We're gonna follow. 19 damage to what? The leg? The core? Uh, I think we hit Saito also. Alright. Yeah, this is where we go in. Fire everything. Leg down. Oh, come on. Please leave him there. It would be so cool if the pilot would decide to just go... Uh, actually, no. Because then the cockpit would be destroyed. That's the thing. Oh, that's the thing we don't want. No. Mission successful. I guess that's it. Okay. So, I feel like we have to deal with it. Is the cockpit now destroyed? Is it salvageable? We need to figure this out. We might actually get some very good electronics out of this here. And that in the first episode. So, hmm, looking pretty good already. Let's take a look. So, 500,000 sea bills. Armor is fine on everybody. That's what we have armor for. Yeah, Urban McRisk gone. That is very unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. We have some mortars here. Do we want to run those? They are not bad, per se. And we have four. It's a full mortar eight. <laughs> we don't have the hard points for it, though. Hmm. It would be something that would maybe benefit our fire starter a little bit. Let's see, RE mediums deal more damage to armor, less damage to structure. They're pretty good as can openers, especially early on. We have a bunch of standard fire control systems, a bunch of double heat sinks. Hmm. I mean, there's a radical double. That's absolutely a no-brainer. Let me take a look at the Whitworth. Core 160. You had Thunder Augmented LRMs. Oh, the mine laying. It's on again. Another LRM 5. Cannot do anything with it, really. Heavy Pharaoh. Helps building. There's half a ton of fast gum ammo. <laughs> uh, no. No, 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 no. What about the Koto? What's left here? We have one double heat sink. The large pulse is there. 
I'll take it. I will take the large pulse laser. I'm not really sure about those mortars, though. Give me the doubles. It's fine. Where is... Endosteel, ferrofibrous. Yes, thank you. Should I take heavy ferro? There's an emergency coolant system as well. Holy crap, man. Where's my where's my pulse? There's the pulse. Okay, so do we take that? It's a lot of evasion, ignore, and accuracy that we get early on, which is so damn needed. I think it's an it's an absolute yes. Yeah. So this is basically a build a mech starter package. We got a radical double heat sink kit, a bunch of double heat sinks, ferro and endo, and a large pulse laser. I love it. And then there's also random salvage coming out of this now. Let's take a look. So we get a part of a cicada, locust, cargo truck. Double Urban Mech Risk, bunch of warrior units. I'm not really sold on these units, so I'm not gonna use them. Mortar 2, 1 RE, Double Streak 2, Armor. Regular Armor is nice to have around when you wanna just override primitive armor. The same with the basic cockpit. Core 40, yeah, get out of here. Uh, and then a bit of Mortar ammo. <laughs> we can run a Mortar now. I mean, it's possible. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Guys! That's the first episode of the new season of Rogue Tech, especially on the first episode. Please do me the favor and leave a like, leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, uh, say hello in the comment section. It would really help me out a ton. And yeah, I hope to see where this is going and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.